sometimes when there's two calls, they can only be at one place at a time. When you call for an ambulance, your hope is that they can arrive as soon as possible, and perhaps as soon as you hang up the phone, they're on their way. Well, in Perry County, sometimes it can take a while. There is only one ambulance that runs through the entire area. Stephanie Sharp explains how the county judge is looking to solve that problem. Hey, Bob and Ashley, they are looking at a possible half cent sales tax or a fee on personal property taxes. Before anything is done, the county wants to hold an informal public meeting to see what taxpayers think of this idea. Dakota Drinkwater loves being there for his neighbors. I've lived in the community my entire life and I just enjoy helping people here. Right now, he's an EMT for Liberty EMS, the only ambulance service in Perry County. I'm actually in paramedic school at UAMS currently. With there only being one ambulance that can go on calls, it sometimes puts first responders in a bind. We've had instances where we're going on a, a non-life-threatening call and have to drive directly past a life-threatening call um, because legally we're obligated to go to the first first call. That's why the county judge is calling an informal meeting Saturday, seeing if people here would be willing to help pay for another ambulance. Half cent sales tax or an assessment fee on personal property taxes, that sort of stuff. No decision or special election has been called yet. And I just want to get a feedback from them as to what they'd like to see. It's a pricey decision to make. That's why the county is leaving it up to taxpayers. Drinkwater says Liberty EMS has mutual response agreements with other EMS services in the area. They're all gracious enough to come in and help us out when we get in situations where our single ambulance can't handle the situation. So He says it could help in times of need. Every second counts, yes. And the ambulance service says it runs about 60 calls a month. The public meeting will be tomorrow from 10 until 2 at the Perryville Methodist Church Connection Center. Back to you.